wanted to make a video about the old town autopilot kayaks. I believe that they are a lot of videos out there from guys that have been sponsored by Old Town and they're putting out all these videos about how great this kayak is about how liable it is and you know it's an all-around kayak you can take it out in the ocean you can fish with it in the ocean I have even seen these guys with some of these videos that they do go out there in the ocean with it um, but they're not being completely honest I bought one about eight months ago and I've been using it for quite a while already. I use it a lot. I want to say that I use it at least once or twice a week. And every time that I come to the Florida Keys, I come out here and I try to fish with it. It hasn't been one time that I haven't brought this kayak and this kayak does not perform. This kayak cannot be out in salt water because it cannot handle the currents. If there's a lot of wind or a little bit of current, the kayak doesn't move. I have been slammed against a bridge more than six times. The kayak is sitting right here, scratched up. I was just fishing right now, and this is the reason why I'm making this video. And the kayak couldn't handle the current where I was fishing. And it took me and it slammed me against the bridge. Scratched the crap out of the kayak. This kayak, it's meant to be used in a lake or in canal systems where there's no current. This is where these kayaks are good. And this is where they should be used. Not in the ocean. Not in the bay, salt water, where there's current. Not fishing off a bridge. This kayak is meant to be used in a lake. And it should be advertised as that. Because someone is gonna get hurt. Someone is gonna get killed out here trying to go out here with these stupid kayaks. Fishing. And they're gonna flip, they're gonna panic, and they're gonna drown because they may think that this kayak is okay to be out here in the ocean with it. It's not. I don't care what anybody says. It's not. These kayaks are meant to be used in a lake or canals where there is no current. I'm gonna show you the kayak that I own. And I'm gonna show you the setup. This is my old town autopilot. It's a pretty nice setup. But again, I'm telling you guys, if you're thinking about buying one of these kayaks and you're thinking about going out in the salt water where there's current, I mean, look at the beautiful day today. Look at this. I want you guys to see this. Look at that. Beautiful day. It's not that windy. It's a nice day. But there's current. There's a little bit of current. Nothing major. Oh, three nuts. This kayak is dead in the water. It won't move. I couldn't, it took me half an hour, half an hour to get from, I'm gonna show you. See those trees over there, the second line of trees? Not with this boat is coming out, but over there at the end. From there to here, it took me half an hour. Because it wouldn't make it. It, would, it wasn't running. I'm telling you folks, if you want a kayak to fish in salt water, do not use this kayak because you're gonna regret it. I regret it. I spend a lot of money on my kayak. A lot of money. I got good batteries. I have three 50 amp hour FPV batteries. Three. 
because with two batteries, because of the current and the wind and all that, it wasn't, it, I was out there for two hours and I had to come back in. So I bought three. Uh, this is my first time using all three of them. I got about 80%. I was only out there for an hour, if that. And I had to come back in because of what happened. So take it as for whatever you want to take it. I know there's going to be a lot of haters out there that are getting sponsored by Old Town and they're going to put their comments on there. I don't care. I'm telling you exactly what I did. I bought that kayak with my own money. I wasn't sponsored by anybody. I bought it because I was watching a lot of the videos in YouTube and everybody was saying how great these things are. A lot of people were saying how great these things are. There was one person that was talking about these kayaks that was not happy with them. They were saying that this kayak was not meant for salt water and they're 100% right. This kayak is not meant for salt water. This kayak is meant for a lake, okay? Where there's no current. And if you're in a lake and it's really windy, don't even go out there with it because you're going to be stranded, okay? So I don't care about what anybody says. I'm telling you my experience, eight months using the kayak, every time I come out here to the ocean with it, the kayak doesn't perform. The kayak doesn't last more than two hours out there with two 50 amp FPV batteries, which are supposed to be one of the best batteries out there. Now I have three of them. So I have spent my money to try to get this thing right. No matter what I do, the kayak, it's not meant to be in the ocean with it. Just want you guys to know that. Thank you.